<laughs> hey, Bobby. First of all, Merhaba and Namaste from Istanbul. This is my beautiful friend, Dr. Rina Demyaha from Kosovo. And today she's here with me because she's in Istanbul for a bit. She's graduated and she's doing really well in life. Going to do her PhD from Austria, right? Yes. From Austria. What's the name of the university? University of Drugs. Medical University of Drugs. She's so cool. She's so cool. <laughs> Thank you. So Rina, first of all, before we start with anything, I want to show them what a beautiful dress you wore for your graduation. So make sure to send me your pictures yes, and I'm gonna put I it up. Know. Guys, decide and let me know in the comments if you like her awesome, beautiful concept dress for a graduation it party. It's very unusual. And, and, I, I and it actually, was designed by? It was designed by Ari, the brand, a mm -hmm. friend of mine, mm -hmm. uh, who's a really great uh, fashion designer. And it was hand-painted by my friend Vira Tarako. Wow. Okay, so Rina, let's get serious. I'm going to ask you a few questions since you're a scholarship student here who has completed a, uh, her graduation in medicine. Uh, I want you to summarize your experience of studying medicine in Turkey. Would you recommend like to others to come and study here for their medicine courses if they want? So, here you go. So, uh, yes, of course, like Turkey has been one of the best places uh, for medical education for many, many years. And especially right now, it's one of the best places for the medical tourism. So, there are people who are coming from different parts of the world, like uh, Asia, America, Europe, to, to get their treatments here. I have won a scholarship from the Turkish government. And firstly, when I came here, I didn't know the Turkish language, so I had to firstly learn the language. So this is very important because people assume that in Turkey they speak English, but I tell them it's very, very important to know Turkish, although the course might have, like in medicine, English, uh, whatever, Department of English in medicine, but it's still recommendable to actually learn the language, right? Yes, especially for the medical education. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very important because you'll be communicating with the patient. Right. Uh, my That's... university also has the English uh, department, so I could have gotten involved with the English department as well. But I chose the Turkish one because I knew that I had to learn uh, Turkish eventually. So I first learned the language where it's really math and it's one of the best years uh, of my life in Turkey actually. True. I had time to settle and to, to get to know the culture and the language and everything. And uh, then after finishing my uh, preparatory course, then I started my Turkish classes and the medical school. Uh, I studied in Jarrah Pasha Medical Faculty, which is one of the best medical faculties in Turkey. I am really, really happy with my professors, with my classmates, with the curriculum and everything. Mm -hmm. Because we got to, um, we got introduced to the clinics like in the very early stages of our uh, medical studies. Like from the second year, maybe we were going to the clinics and uh, see how the life in the clinics is. Because uh, Medicine has uh, too much theory, but actually uh, what makes it very important is the practice. Because you can read and read and read, but once you get to see the patients and feel the patients and ask about their diseases and how everything happened, that's how you actually become a better doctor. Which is one of the reasons why Turkey is good. Like, of course, the professors and the medical education and the technology as well. But also because uh, the population is so uh, high, but you get to see many, many medical cases. So yeah, I, I would really, really recommend Turkey. Not just for the medical studies, also the other departments, but for medicine, it's, uh, I still believe it's one of the best places in Europe, right? Yeah. yeah. Also, the, the student life is amazing. Like, you can True. adapt easily. There are people who um, support you. Turkey people are really, really supportive. Yeah. And they love Very hospi hospitable. Yes. So it's right. one of the best places for a student. So now you're a doctor, huh? I still, can, still can't process it. <laughs> Me neither. You were such a little girl when we first met. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Me neither, but time flies. Wow. 
Okay, I finished my cappuccino and I want to order one more drink. Let's see what we have. No oh, we have similar color of shoes actually. Yes. Great mind from the Let me show our shoes here. It's kind of same. sacrificed in making Rina a doctor. <laughs> and you told me, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. I told you at the end of and the I was first upset. year. Yeah. She told me that once you start your medical studies, you won't be able to uh, hang Chill. out and chill with us like you used to. Yeah. Our dorm life was like the best year in Istanbul. Right? Yeah. And all this time, like we had so much fun. We had so much fun. I think everyone should experience the, the life sure. in the dorm. Especially if possible abroad. abroad. Yeah, yeah, yeah abroad. Great. Meeting new people, new cultures, learning yeah, a new yeah. language. If I didn't meet Rina and Nirvana and the rest of my friends from like the Balkan countries, I would have never visited your country, for yeah, example. Yeah. But I did visit our country and we all wore, I'll put a picture of oh, our Indian saris where we went to Aura's wedding, a friend of ours. We went to our wedding and we were all dressed up in like Indian clothes. This is and amazing. And thank all eyes to were your on mom us. for the gifts. Yeah. And my they mom gifted gifts. her own saris to her, to her and some of my other friends. This is amazing. It was amazing. And also, my mom is really obsessed with Indian. Uh, like I went to I went to her house and her mom's like, okay, come, come check my closet. And everything was like made in India, made in India, she really, <laughs> made in really India. Loves, it's not like she checks to yeah. have a ticket. But or she has this you know? vibe. The energy calls her. Yeah. Even in your house, I remember I saw this little stool, I think, like Seba, yeah. and it was actually Indian. Yeah. Remember? Yeah, it was from some exhibition. Because it was my actually name from is India. kind of Indian. Yeah, yeah. Her name is Reena. So <laughs> Reena is like a very popular name in India. So yeah. It's my time to karma, I guess. Yes, yes. India. You should come to India. Oh, karma? Did you say karma? No, I said karma. Oh, she should have said karma because my t shirt says karma. <laughs> I'll say karma because my t shirt says karma. <laughs> I mean, it would be great. T shirt reference. <laughs> But India doesn't recognize Kosovo, so that's really sh**. But hopefully they will, because it's a beautiful country with its own culture, with its own people. Albanians are some of the coolest people I've ever met in my life. Like, coolest people ever. This is like their national flag has two, what do you call it? Well, not well, eagles. eagles, two eagles. So yeah. It's, actually, it's one eagle with two heads. Uh, one eagle with two heads. Yeah right. Why would it be, why would it be two eagles? They would have more pairs of wings. Give your task today to know about Albanian culture and, and Albanian people and how Kosovo came about, why it came about and stuff like that. And you sympathize with their cause, why it wants to be a free country, which it is. Our nature is amazing. Yeah, yeah. Nature. Their tourism, their nature, their hospitality. I stayed for one week in Kosovo, one week in Albania. And the best trips ever actually really. You should come again actually. I would love to. Albania now doesn't require visa from Indians, so that is amazing. Yeah. My American is here. She's already had her drink, so so when are you coming to India? So once you make money becoming a doctor, you should take a one month trip and let me know so that I can show you <laughs> every bit to. of India you know it's been like in my bucket list for yeah, a long, long time but I want to go with my mom but your mom has this she's scared of she being came. on a flight yes. oh yeah she came for your graduation my mom has a yeah. phobia of flights and she always did her trips like with my land car yeah. or you know but for my graduation she got on the plane and came to the first time first time in 53 years wow. So she did that for me and she, she didn't get scared that much. She it was in like, her head. Yeah, yeah why did I try this yeah. like before? Yeah, next time we're definitely coming to India. You guys, <laughs> show some support and love yeah. to my lovely doctor friend Rina. I'm so proud of calling her a doctor already. <laughs> I'm proud of you wow. as well. Uh, do I like get free treatment? As and when possible. Well, not, not now, like when I'm old. Older. I hope you don't need any treatment. <laughs> Such great diplomacy. <laughs> Why is this open though? Why is this open though? Like, did someone use it and like push it back? This is weird. 
Do I really need this though? Like a, my hair, man. How? Wow, how? Can you show? Let it not be a fail, Rina. Wow. I have to show you guys what she did with the straw. Wow. I love the best hairdresser wait, wait. get. The sun was like, let me go back. Wow, you did that with a straw. See? I have to go there for fans, you know, because so sometimes cool. in the library. <laughs> true, true. So I was going to like share how talented you are. I, I, it's not working so much. No, but it's not for a bit, so it's fine. She does amazing nail art also. Like, uh, she used to do my nails in the dorm. I had forgotten about that. Such intricate details, like, lovely. And apart from that, she's not just like into study study, she's actually trained in, was it salsa or tango? Both, actually. <laughs> I started with salsa, but then when I came to Turkey, I switched to tango because yeah. yeah. of yeah. And then I switched to tango, but now I'm back to salsa, so it's a Ooh, Can we put a clip of you playing the violin? Like, sure. can you send me a clip so that I can put on the violin? So now we're gonna shut up and like, the violin video is gonna be put up. You guys, like, I need to find some videos. Yeah, yeah just find me one of your tiny little videos. Like, maybe 30 seconds or something like that. <laughs> actually, so we're not supposed to talk because of violin. Violin is playing. Oh, Round of applause, guys. Round of applause. Amazing. Nice. Oh, you got the virus, right? Yeah. Yes, but, uh, I don't know why I'm laughing. <laughs> but you got the virus. How was it? Here, so it was um, interesting. To be honest, because I was like treating myself as a patient and uh, looking at the disease. Because you have had COVID patients, right? Yes, yeah. I've been dealing with COVID patients for like three months, yeah. and I didn't get it for my job. Actually, yeah. it was just like from a family meeting. Family so, meetings, guys. Be careful. Maintain that distance. Well, we are vaccinated, yeah. so get vaccinated. Yeah. Yeah. Get vaccinated. Yeah. Once you take care of like when you put the mask and uh, to the social distance, and you can minimize it. Yes. Extent, yeah. I was dealing with the patients, and I didn't get infected by them because you had all the precautions. And yeah, the thing is that you get infected when you don't actually know, and you're like, oh, I'm living with yeah. my parents. Of course, you cannot yeah. wear masks even around the house. So yeah. Hopefully, it will end soon, and everything will just. Uh, from Fingers back. crossed. Fingers it's crossed. It's been a while. I and mean, when I went to Kosovo, uh, things were kind of getting normalized, and people were not forced to wear masks while walking, like in the square. It was so weird for me yeah. to go out without a like, mask. Like, what is happening? Just... Am I on a different planet without the virus? <laughs> and for me, wearing a mask is a common thing. Like, yeah. you always wear a mask. It's like part of your like, daily routine. Yeah. And yeah. Stuff. But it was so weird. I, I really didn't know how we were going to go back to normal. Yeah. I, I don't know what normal is. Actually. Yeah. What is normal, really? Like, this could be the normal for the next generation, I think. Unfortunately. Oh, I mean, Let's not talk about this depressive yeah. things. This was a subject. Like, I go, like, deep. Yeah. By the way, we, of course, of course, came with our masks here. Like, we all have our masks when we're, like, hanging out. I even but only, like, when we're, like, sitting in a place like this. I'm not sure my mask. Like, uh, my dad is a... Dentist? Like, both of my parents are yeah. dentists. And they take masks and put it like this. Uh, so we sterilize. Yes, ready to totally sterilize. Okay, now we are going to say goodbye to you guys. Bye. See you in our next video. So awesome. So, so, so. Show us some love in the comments below and wish her good luck for her PhD in Austria. Austria. I was gonna say Australia. Okay, bye. <laughs>
I mean, I could invite them if they want. This is weird, like we're just standing there and just staring at us. We're having trouble with the lightning. Oh shit, really? Is it too white? Why do I turn white on the camera? I'm proud of my color. I don't want to look white. No, I don't want to look This is fine. I mean, you're white anyways. I don't want to be white. 